lost another. Good morning, everybody. I hope you are well. Um, and I hope that you're having a great week so far, or weekend, or whenever you're watching this. I figured I'd do a little morning routine video. I just, like in the past month, have created a new morning routine for myself that I've really, really been loving. And so I wanted to share it with you all. Um, and so, yeah, this is just my morning routine. It's Friday, so it's a week. Uh, morning routine during the weekend. I like to sleep in a little bit like just chill out some more But this is for a week morning um, Yeah, glad that you're here and um, I just woke up I Read a little bit journaled a little bit um, Listened to some Spanish um, for the morning and now I'm going to um, get my workout in I created a workout calendar for myself, um, which has been really nice uh, because I've been trying to like get more leg days in, and um, but I've also really been liking Pilates, so it's just been nice to be able to like track my workouts this way. So, anyways, I'm just doing my workout for today. Um, I'm getting ready for my workout for today, and then after that, then we'll continue on with the morning. Okay, so um, I wanted to show you my workout calendar really quick that I made. This is for September, and as you can kind of see, I have each day planned out. So Sundays I have walking, just um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are Pilates. That's like where I try to get like the arm workout in, the ab workout, and then, you know, of course like legs and stuff. but. Um, and then Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I do leg workouts. And obviously, I know there's only so much I can do with at-home workouts, but still. Um, and then I also jump rope for 10 minutes a day uh, before my workouts, just as a warm-up, and also to help my cardio, because my cardio has never been great. And then on Saturday, I also do some like restorative yoga after my leg workout, just so I can kind of stretch after the entire week's worth of workouts. Um, and then, so that's my workout calendar. And then each day has like leg workout one, leg workout two has like a specific workout and I just have a little PDF here. So yeah, but today is a Pilates day. So I am going to put Pilates on YouTube. I watch Issa Welly. She's my favorite. She has challenging workouts for beginners, intermediate, advanced, and she just has like the best personality. So I'm going to turn her on YouTube and get started. said that but it was a while ago so sorry about it but I just wanted to quickly go over my morning routine just a little bit just because I don't know I just have really been liking it and I want to um, talk about it so first things first is I've been getting up at six I'm 
well, actually, before I was working out like in the afternoon because I have like a gap in work. So I was working out at like 11 noon ish. Um, and I don't know, I like didn't always get a workout in because like of meetings or like whatever that was just like kind of like in the middle of the day. So I was like, I kind of want to get up early so I can work out and have some like time to myself. So I was getting a bit like 7.30, but then I didn't have time to like, I was like getting way too too sweaty and then all my skincare was coming off. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to go for it. Let's wake up at six. And that's worked out really well for me because I work, I wake up at six and I've been like journaling, which has really helped like my mental health just to like get all of like my anxieties or whatever I'm stressed out about for that day, like out on paper. That way it's like not in here anymore. It's just like out there. So I journal a little bit and I also have been reading this book that my friend recommended to me. Um, It's about like anxiety and like depression and like ways that you can, I guess, counteract those things like in your life. Um, and I really like it. Um, it's like a seven week program thing. You read like a, a chapter a week. And so I've been trying to do that. Um, when I'm done with that book, I'll probably either like reread it again. Um, just because it's like also has a bunch of stuff to like fill out. And like, sometimes they're like, here's an exercise that I'm like, I don't really want to do this at six o'clock in the morning. (laughs) But anyways, I read that a little bit. Um, Maybe when I'm done with it, I'll start like reading books because I'm six books behind my Goodreads like challenge for the year, which is 50 books. And I was doing so good. I was like seven books ahead. And then now I'm like six books behind because there was like two months that I didn't read anything, like three months that I didn't read anything. So so now I'm going to try to like catch up. And instead of like watching YouTube or something, I'm just going to like read a book. Um to get back onto it because I really do like reading but I've been reading a lot of like harder like more knowledgeable like books like books um I read like the new Jim Crow recently or like the conscious living I just finished so they're like not like easy reads they're like kind of hard challenging reads that are I've just been like kind of like trying to like fully get the concepts that I'm reading about which means a little bit of a slower reading time so to get the six books back, I'm going to read like, not short books, because I don't want to cheat, but like, easy reads, you know, entertaining reads. So anyways, that's what I've been trying to do. So maybe in the mornings, like, I'll do that once I'm done with my other book. And then I also have been listening to um, a lesson in Spanish, because we are living in Mexico, and my boyfriend is bilingual. I'm really trying to work on being like bilingual or like learning more um, just so I can like be more capable here and more independent here. So um, I've tried, I'm doing like 20 minutes. I should do more, but 20 minutes of Spanish a day. Um, And so, yeah, I do that. And then, and then at seven o'clock, I then will work out. I will do my jump roping and then either my Pilates or my leg workout or whatever, like I showed you on the workout calendar. And then at like 7.45ish, I jump into the shower just for a cold like rinse. And then I get out of the shower, do my skincare products like I'm doing right now. And then um, I'll just get dressed and then make some coffee and just like settle in a little bit before I just like start work. So that's kind of what's coming up next in the morning. But I just wanted to like emphasize the importance of like wake up an extra hour earlier. You don't even have to get up out of bed, but it's just nice to like have some time for yourself and to do something that's like going to better yourself and like work towards something that you find valuable. So for me, that's like, um, you know, gaining new insights or to help me with like my anxiety or, you know, learning about like new ways of thinking or, you know, learning Spanish, something that like benefits you that maybe you don't have time to do otherwise in your day, just waking up an hour before you actually have to like get ready for your day has been like incredibly helpful. And I think that everybody should at least give it a try for like a week and see how you feel because getting up early does suck. But 
I think it's worth it. And you're not like jumping out of bed, right? You're just like chill about it. So give that a try. But anyways, I just did all my skincare routine. I'm not going to show my products that I'm using because my skin's not that great right now. And I don't think that it's the products that I'm using. I think it's the fact that I have been eating so much sugar <laughs> lately, but I'm not going to show them because my skin's not like perfect right now. So just in case, you know, but anyways, I'm going to get dressed and then we're going to make some coffee and hang out for a little bit. I literally just put my hair up because I don't know. I just was <clears throat> feeling it. I put it in like a little bun and I, it literally is like hurting my head so bad, but I think it looks good. So I can't take it out. Does that happen to anybody else? I'm like, I'm going to have a headache later, but oh well. <laughs> I've been just doing a little bit of the coffee meat one. It does have milk in it, which is probably also why my face is breaking out, but whatever. Anyway, so I found this chocolate one and I just tried it for the first time in my coffee this morning. And I'm gonna put a little bit more in there actually, but it is good. Like, it's good, okay? I miss my non-dairy creamers, but does coffee meat know how to do it? I, I promise. I This morning, I want to finish a little project that we started yesterday while well, I have some time. Um, yesterday, we started to make um, chocolate covered pretzels for like a little treat. Um, and we still have lots of pretzels left. So that's what I'm gonna try to do this morning is like finish that up. I have peanut butter ones that I made yesterday, but I just have to dip them in the chocolate. So we're gonna do that this morning as well, but I'm gonna eat breakfast first because I'm kind of starving and the coffee is making me a little bit jittery. <laughs> It's like 10.40, I just finished the rest of the pretzels, dipping them in chocolate. Well, I did all the peanut butter ones that we had set up yesterday. But I am going to read for a few hours. This is usually the time that I'll watch YouTube or go on Pinterest or something like that. Um, 
in the morning and I'm really trying to read. I went through my wish list on my library and picked out one that I was like, oh, that might be entertaining, quick read. Hopefully it'll be sh on the shorter side. It's a thousand pages, but that's fine. My so that's what I'm gonna do right now for an hour or so. And then I'm gonna actually do some chores because Friday's kind of the day that I wanna like get my shit together. So I don't really have to do anything on the true weekend. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'll check back in with you uh, when I am done with my little reading session. Okay guys, it's 11.45. I took literally a 15 minute nap <laughs> while I was reading by accident. So sometimes you just need like a mid morning nap, you know, especially when you get up early. Sometimes that'll happen, but anyways. So um, before my afternoon little shift starts um, at one and two-ish, um, I am just gonna clean up a little bit, do some laundry, um, do the dishes, clean up, pick up. Um, but otherwise, I'm not gonna show that because that's, you wanna see me clean? I don't even wanna clean. I don't even wanna see me clean. <laughs> but, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my morning routine. Um, let me know if you give the early morning routine a shot. I hope that you do because it really has done a lot for my mental health and um, I highly recommend it. Um, plenty of videos coming your way. Um, a couple of different ones actually. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you next time.